Um, welcome everyone to this week's Qvert Community Meeting. It is the 2nd of August, uh, 2023. Um, we will get started. If you haven't put your name down already in the attendees, if you could please do that. And similarly, if you have anything that you wish to raise, whether it be uh, something for the agenda or pill request that needs attention or focus grab or really anything, um, please feel welcome to add that while we proceed, while we get going. Um, and then, yeah, if we if we if you add it late we, and we miss it, um, just call it out. Um, do we have any new members this week, or perhaps people that have uh, lurked before and haven't introduced themselves that would like to take that opportunity now? I'll take that as a no. In which case, we shall move on to the schedule check-in. Hopefully everyone can see my screen all right. Um, this is, of course, the version 1.1 release. Where are we? So Kubernetes releases in approximately two weeks. Uh, that must be a Tuesday. No? Um, and that's really all we have here. Not particularly, not a lot happening at the moment. That, um, I've added this as a regular kind of check-in as well. This is how I do try and keep this uh, events wiki up to date. So this is the current CFPs that we have open. Uh, KCDs in Sri Lanka, Texas, Denmark, and Open Source Summit in Japan, if any of those places are near and interesting to you. Um, and just in case I do miss something, there's a lot of um, uh, additional community events in Linux Foundation, CNCF, and DevOps Days, which you can link to there. Um, at some point, either today, tomorrow, or Friday, uh, Brian Carey has a talk about Kubert CI at Flock. So hopefully that all goes well. So the agenda. Um, We've only got this, which is, um, sorry, is someone having delicious cereal? Is that what I can hear? Um, Mark, are you off mute and eating cereal by any chance? Sorry. What kind of cereal is it? <laughs> Crispex. Crispex. The, uh, it, it's the net for nutrition, right? Yes, good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning, Mark. Um, the other thing we have here is there is a meeting tomorrow. This is led by Lee Yarwood. It's to talk about what's happening with the changes in how we deal with SIGs. Um, I do not remember what the time is. Let's just have a quick look. This one. Oh, that's the context. Oops. It must be this one. Let's learn how to use Google. One o'clock UK time. Uh, so mark that in calendar if you're interested in joining and talking about, um, yeah, how we deal with the changes to SIGs and um, get Approvers and approvers and reviewers across the different SIGs to help out with PR workload and to kind of uh, knowledge share um, and to make us a bit more efficient. Thank you, Lee, for spearheading that. Um, these are the design proposals that have come up uh, in the last uh, week, I think. Um, I'll just answer these really quickly. That. Uh, so these aren't all of the design proposals that we have open. Um, these are just the ones that have turned up in the last week. Uh, so Lee has one for adding the operator deployment for common instant types. Um, why don't we open all of these at the same time? Come on. All right. Um, a proposal for adding volume claim template to VM spec uh, from Shelley. 
got moving existing monitoring code to Kubert monitoring. Um, I'm a fan of that one. And default virtualization storage class. Um, yeah, so a little bit across the board, something for everyone. Um, we had another one for, uh, what was it, memory hot plug, but it seems as though there is another one already open for memory hot plug. So I think, I think um, they're going with the one that's already open. Pull requests. Uh, we have four here that I kind of figured might be worth getting some eyes on. This one is from Lee. I don't think anything is happening. Previously required to allow deployments to upgrade from 0.54 and should have been dropped. That does sound relevant. Right, right, right. That's their garbage collection. Um, this looks like a nice easy one if someone wants to uh, jump onto that and sign themselves to it. Is there anyone on this call who is interested in, in jumping on that? Uh, I can have a look. Nice one. Uh, whose voice was that? Felix. Oh, nice. Let's see. see. Uh, Felix, what's your handle again? Zero X Felix. Zero X Felix. It was the ad that got me. Thank you, Felix. Next one. Well, my Zoom window starts flashing at me. Ah, uh, this one is about moving. Oh, that's a design proposal. Let's just close these. What a coincidence. It's also from Joao. Uh, adding component and part of label to vert launcher pods. Uh, no one's jumped under this one. One also looks fairly straightforward. Look, you show vert launcher logs of application logs or infrastructure logs, like for these important parts, include these labels. Well, that sounds good. Is, is Juan on the, on the call today? Doesn't look like it. All right. Um, is anyone on this call interested in taking a look at what seems to be an easy review? Anyone at all? I'll delegate that one. Thank you, Stu. Yes, go ahead. What's, uh, there you are, Stu got. Wonderful. Next one, refactoring code. I think this was raised by Ed. It's okay. I'm known to be to in, to bug other people by myself. You can. All right. All right. I can skip over this one. Is that something um, that will be true also in the future? That we can just ignore anything that has your name on it because you are a master bugger. Yes. All right. Excellent. Um, after we've looked at this PR. 
Um, did you have anything to say about the uh, plug-in binding meeting that I think you just had? Um, yes, we just we went over the existing status of things, what was done, and what is planned. I can summarize that uh, what we did is many POCs to learn our situation, and what we are doing is creating uh, the first. Uh, binding plugin, which is Slurp. With, with the hope that after we finish that, we can freeze that code and never look at it again. But uh, that was our first uh, target. And after that, we'll, we'll take uh, another, and another task that we are doing now is to do a concrete example for SROV, which has some uh, special uh, special things that we didn't tackle yet. That's it, most of it. And there is, a, maybe in this context, I can say that there is a, there will be a, a big refactoring. It's in progress. It is in review uh, on the networking code that will change the way we configure networking in uh, the networking of the pod. So that one is also some pre-requirement for the bindings, but uh, and it's also a, a small cleanup, not a small, a big cleanup. That's it. Thank you for that. And yeah, if I've made any mistake with those notes, can you please correct them? Um, speaking of cleaning up, uh, this one raised by Vasily. Yeah, you can give that one to me. Excellent. Thank you, Alexander. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Mailing list review. Uh, just one, a little self-serving, but it's from me. Um, just in case you haven't seen it, this was highlighting uh, recent updates to our release information and process. Um, it highlights uh, two recent PRs, one from Fabian, one from myself. Uh, the long and short of it, we now have a lot more uh, release information in um, uh, first in the release doc and also the release procedure doc. The release procedure doc is mostly the same from what used to be in the release doc. Uh, the release doc itself now includes a lot of versioning, life cycle and scheduling information, uh, which you might be interested. Uh, particularly with regards to what versions of kubevert are supported with what versions of Kubernetes as we go through subsequent releases. Um, and this one also has information on release notes. Um, and I'd like to highlight that if you have a, a PR that has a release note text, whether you raise it or if you're reviewing it and you notice it doesn't have that, if you'd please include one of the kind or relevant SIG labels to help with processing those release notes. Uh, thank you. And you can, um, Andrea also raised the point that he raised uh, previously um, about not including the release notes in the tag. Um, we have noticed there is some issues relating to that um, during my comment there. Um, and it, I, I agree with him, and I think it's worthwhile that we should be um, pulling those release notes into a markdown file in the SIG release repo rather than pushing them into the tag because the tag is um, less permanent than we'd like, depending on when it is that you pull those release notes. So that's that. Bug scrub, there are a couple of bugs. I don't think. Oh, yes. Um, so Vasily raised this last week. I think we had a quick look at it. Um, Alice was the best person to look at it. I just wanted to re-raise it because he's sharing some findings that he wonders if um, anyone else has any ideas about it. He's also raised a PR, so maybe this is no longer relevant. Maybe he's got the information that he needs. But I did want to bring it up just in case um, anyone hadn't seen this and had some ideas about it. So I'll let you look at that in your own time. And this one, similarly, I think this is from Edomar. Yeah, 
Um, this doesn't have any attention on it. It was only raised yesterday. That's not a huge surprise. Um, and there's a good chance that Edema will um, add a PR to this. I just wanted to highlight it because it's a, a beautiful PR. Lots of information and plenty of links. Um, I think to behold. And just in case uh, that, that it's not the plan, if anyone has any ideas or thoughts that they wish to share um, about the university, I'll stop not behaving as documented, um, then by all means, um, assign yourself to this. And there we go, as if by magic. Thank you, Lubo. And one more. goes through on issues. I feel like we, we saw something like this about a month ago. Yeah, there was something about 119, I think. And I think it was bumps. Now it's about 118, but which version I don't... I think currently we are only support, uh, the current supported version is the V1, so... V1 is 119. Do we support uh, the previous one as well? Yeah, we should support uh, okay. 5.9 and 5.8 while V1 is out. Oh, we support but, two versions back? Uh, yeah, same as Kubernetes. No, we already? Oh, I, was, I was under the impression we support only one or one back or something. Like that. I think we support running on three version of Kubernetes, but yes, okay. I Hopefully that information is somewhere here in this document. Uh, platform support, oh, this is platform support. Report SKU. I think that document was actually uh, probably unrolled again or something, refresh. Yes. I'm sure it's here. I'm not just written here. Now, uh, someone can correct me if I'm uh, talking out of my behind, but I'm pretty sure we support the current version and the previous two. Yeah, that's my understanding as well. So. Okay. Well, we better check this because it's confusing. <laughs> I remember because we have a problem with, uh, I don't remember, or I remember we do that with running on Kubernetes, the current Kubernetes version and to be before, but not about the, our version. So it is, it is like, it matters a lot. I understand. But we can check it uh, as a follow-up. Yeah, well, just in case, uh, is someone able to um, assign themselves to this? Just so it doesn't get lost in the noise. I guess I sign readers. Perfect. Thank you, Eddie. And it's a good uh, opportunity to ask if we have a policy about uh, bumping uh, Go versions. Because I don't think we do. That's a great point. And if we do, that I don't know if it's documented. And if it's not documented, yes. then it doesn't exist. Yes. All righty. I'll just have a quick look. No one's added anything to the agenda. Um, so now before we wrap up, uh, if anyone has anything that would like to add, um, not, that's not on the agenda and they didn't want to add it for whatever reason, now is your chance. Or if they wanted to just say thanks to anyone or recognize any good work that's being done or suggest any improvements that could be done with how we do things. Looks like Lubo's thrown something in the chat.
independence phase. Work. Yeah, I think the, the latest changes was that we tied the support for uh, to the Kubernetes support. So as long as uh, the, the targeted version of Kubernetes exists, we support the we support the Kubernetes as well. Right. For example, uh, release one is targeted to one twenty seven. So as long as one twenty seven is existing and is supported. We should support uh, release one point zero. This was a, a change, or, or... Um, I would say it was more of a clarification. But uh, yeah, you can have a, another view probably. And so, anything that's matched to version one point two five, which I think is version five point five eight, Kubert. Yes, exactly. Um, I wonder, and I, I think it's worthwhile, um, and I'd be actually be interested to hear if other people think otherwise, if it's worthwhile actually having this as a, um, as a matrix that we put out that unfortunately would have to be updated manually with each release, but just quite clearly says which versions we currently support and which versions of Kubernetes those are matched against. Yeah, I think we could uh, do it as part of the SIG release. Yes. Yeah. You think? Yep. Absolutely. Um, because yeah, having this, this is useful, but it, I imagine in three versions time, it'll require everyone to do a little bit of maths. And I had maths. Yeah. Definitely, like feedback is welcome to see if if that's what we need, or we need to maybe support even more. And if so, like who we would be the the one for for the work all righty well if that's the case thank you everybody for joining us today thank you everyone who jumped onto uh the bugs and pull requests um and had things to add to anything um hopefully your crispix were delicious mark have a lovely day, have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.